Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips. And as per usual, please stay until the end of the video where I will share with you my pricing for these particular cookies. Now we are reaching the end of my sugar cookie decorating for this holiday season, which means that I have a lot of random colors left over. But I've actually decorated in a very strategic way because I wanted to make sure that these bears were going to be brown. And I know that all of my leftover colors can be turned into brown. So what I did was I put all my colors in there, I added a little bit of white and a little bit of brown as well, and I've come up with this brown color. Now my royal icing recipe is very easy. It's one cup of icing sugar to one tablespoon of meringue powder and add as much water as needed. Now I know a lot of you have been asking me, how much water am I supposed to add? Well truthfully, I know I give it to you in a one cup increment for the icing sugar, but realistically I'm actually making about five to seven cups of sugar at once, and that means about five to seven tablespoons of meringue powder at once, and then I go ahead and add in my water. Now the reason I don't give it to you in that increment is because it's really project dependent. So I want you guys to know that that is the ratio that I use in general. So when I'm adding the water in, what I'm doing is I'm actually whipping that icing sugar and meringue powder at the same time and then slowly adding in that water. It does take a while to figure out what consistency is gonna work for you. The consistency I'm using today is called a pipe and flood consistency and it's actually fairly loose. Of course, the more colorant you add, the looser it's going to be. You'll notice that I don't have to use a cookie scribe, it just falls into place, but it doesn't fall over the edges of the cookie. It really is about how much you're filling up that space as well. You don't want to overfill because then you will end up with getting spilled over edges. If that happens, you can just let it dry and then scrape it off, but know that you will be left with a little bit of a slight stain on your cookie. I'm starting with all the brown portions of my bear because all of the clothing is going to be layered on top of this bear. So it's really important, again, when you're planning on decorating your sugar cookies to decorate in the right order. So firstly, it's going to be all the body parts of this little bear. I placed that in my oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit just to make sure that those set really nice and quickly. You don't want to put it in for too long or else your icing can actually explode if it gets too hot. So you just want to make sure you put it in there for about 5 minutes or less. One of my biggest mistakes when I first started decorating sugar cookies was all of that wait time. I would just sit, wait, wait, and wait, and it would take days for me to finish projects. But ever since I picked up that dehydration trick, everything goes a lot faster, and I'm able to make cookie sets within hours as opposed to days. Now, if you experience caving in of any sort, that especially happens on places like this portion that I added on top. The reason is, is because your icing is actually a little bit too thin. It does need to have some viscosity so that it doesn't sink in at all. So if that's happening to you, add a little bit of meringue powder as well as some icing sugar just to make sure that it is thick enough. I also find that using a piping bag to distribute everything really, really helps. Sometimes I can evenly distribute things with a cookie scribe, but I just find it's so much faster and so much more accurate with a piping bag. And by the way, I am using tipless piping bags today. I love them because they don't clog up, and if they do get a clog, it's really easy to get rid of it, unlike when you're using a metal tip. However, if all you have is metal tips available to you, I highly suggest going with a number two tip. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding on these black eyes, and again, that dehydration trick is really going to help you avoid bleeding of the color. My apologies, my camera ran out of battery. I love my camera, but the battery life is just so short. So I was doing something that was very time sensitive. I had to add on the little glint in the bear's eyes and I couldn't stop to fix that camera battery. So unfortunately you missed it. But what I did was I took a non pere and I put it into the corner of that eye there while it was still wet so that it would stick. The reason that I didn't do that with white is basically because I'm trying to conserve my white. And I also find that it gives you a much more perfect glint that really will have zero risk of bleeding. And now I'm just going in here and adding on those noses. Next up, we get to add on our Santa costume. So I'm going to make a little red shirt here. The body of this is very simplistic, which makes it easy to actually pipe as well. And honestly, you can take this idea and use it for any flat animal like this. And by the way, I do fill in this specific order because again, I find that it helps avoid craters and indentation. And you will notice I don't have to knock my cookies, don't have to shake them, it's all going to meld in together. 
All these techniques I'm talking about, by the way, I've done them all before and I finally have come to a place where I am happy with my icing consistency and happy with my techniques. There have been some videos that I've posted before where I show you a little bit of different techniques and I find that this one really works the best when I get that icing consistency correct and I don't have to do anything to it. It's a very vindicating feeling when you get that. Once again, placing my little bears into my oven to dehydrate. You can also put them into a dehydrator. The only reason I use my oven is because there's a lot more space and I can just stick the whole pan in at once. And then I'm going in with my white to create all of those little white details that's generally on Santa's costume. And then going in with my black boots here. Now looking at this now, I really should have gone in with a little bit of white detail on top of the black boots too, but all good, I just left him looking like that. And remember we talked about earlier how if the icing gets too hot, then what can happen when it's in the dehydrator or the oven is that icing can explode. Yeah, that ended up happening to me on the boots of this. I completely forgot about them. I was working on another set of cookies at the same time and I didn't set a timer. So yeah, I end up having to put some little detailings on these boots, which is totally fine, but I probably would have liked to leave it blank anyway. And of course, Santa's got to have his belt to hold everything in place. And I did debate whether I should add a little beard on this bear, but I decided he kind of looked cuter without it. And I didn't want the beard to mess up that really adorable look. But I feel like it could look cute with a beard as well. Let me know what you guys think. Beard or no beard? Then I'm gonna go ahead and add on the detailings of the hat. Now this hat really isn't gonna show too much, so I'm just doing a little white band here and then I'm gonna add on that little red section as well. Whenever you're working on things together like this and you don't want it to be the wet on wet technique where it all melts together, you do need to make sure that it fully dries before adding in this red part. After finishing up the hats, I decided that it needed a cute little eyebrow. I always find the eyebrows super high, make it look even more adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. You could also do this with an edible marker and you could also have made the eyes with the edible marker too. I just went with this because I already had this going. And then I decided to add on these little paws and I'm going to place a little gingerbread man which I made a while ago. These are just royal icing transfers that I made and I'm putting them in his hand and adding on a little snowflake to that belt. You could also paint the snowflake gold or you could add a gold belt buckle. I just wanted to do the quick and easy thing. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit of blush to the cheeks. Normally I like to do this with petal dust but because this brown is so dark I didn't think it would show up. So it's a bit riskier. You got to make sure that you know exactly where you're aiming. I also ended up adding a little bit of pink too to the suit and to the collar and the edge. I think it looks really pretty when you do something a little bit different like that. Very similar to the way that I also colored those snowman with a hint of blue. I showed that to you guys earlier in Vlogmas. And here are the adorable Santa cookies. I had a vision for this when I saw a few different inspiration pics on Instagram. I knew I wanted to do something Santa Claus based, but I didn't want to do the traditional Santa. Now let's get into the pricing of these cookies. The pricing is pretty straightforward. I would not offer these as a stock order. They are a lot of work for a stock order. It would be a custom order only at $5.50 each, and there would be a dollar minimum implemented. So whether that's $100 for you or $200, whatever it is, that's what I would implement. And I am so pleased to be able to showcase these awesome cookies in a cookie video. Be sure to go and check them out, drop them a like, and drop them a comment. These are fantastic. Now, if you want to be the next subscriber submission of the video, then please follow me at SD Bake Shop on Instagram, where you can either tag me in a photo or send me a photo. All and any dessert levels are completely welcome. I love seeing all of the entries that you guys have been sending me, especially all of the Christmas ones. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye.